Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So if you check your inbox, there is something a little bit different this time. Um, seems to be a fateful encounter for seven days. And so if you look at the notice here, um, you do have a one-time fateful that's with paid stones, of course, not uh, free-to-play stones. And you get an increased chance of getting the following characters that are featured here. Uh, Cynthia, Radius, as well as Lovely. Now, I actually scrolled up and down twice because I wasn't really sure if this is supposed to be uh, anything more than just a, a faithful banner. Usually with uh, updates and notices, you do see uh, either an update, and which I was actually expecting a new update this week, uh, or something more exciting. And, um, you know, I'm not really sure what to think of this. That being said, uh, Happy New Year to all. I haven't really created anything in the last few days. Mostly because there hasn't really, really been anything new uh, in the Nether Eden um, for the past week or so. That being said, uh, in this video, we'll also combine the notice with the Should You Summon. And in this episode of Should You Summon, we'll talk about this particular 7 days encounter um, you know, banner. Whenever I think of seven days, actually, I think of the ring or ringu for those who watch the Japanese version. Uh, for those who aren't familiar with it, it is a horror of sorts. And basically, there's a long haired girl and uh, not much more to say about that, except there's a seven day curse. And uh, not to make any light of that situation, but honestly, I do feel that this particular banner is a little bit of a curse as well, shall I say. Not to insult the devs or anything, but I'm not really sure what the purpose of this particular uh, banner was. Uh, I mean, you know, Cynthia, Radius, and Lovely aren't exceptionally powerful in any right. Uh, Cynthia does have the advantage of participating in all uh, elemental uh, AFs, and you also have Radius being one of the premier uh, Slash Zone users. Now, Lovely is kind of the fire support uh, that we really never uh, focused on. I don't have her, and I'm not really sure that I would have her in any uh, final uh, fire, fire DPS comps. That being said, she is a blunt user, so I guess if you had a need to uh, put that person on your uh, Yifa blunt zone team, you can do so. Uh, in my opinion, uh, this is an easy no. I'm not really sure why you would want to spend a thousand paid stones uh, for a slightly increased chance. I mean, the 10th summon, I believe, has 7.77%, and so if you combine all three, it's like 23% or so. Um, I mean, yeah, most faithful encounters are a flat 10% chance for one featured unit. I don't think these three units, especially since most of them are older, are really anything to chase at this point. And again, if you have paid stones and you haven't spent them already, I, I hope you would have tried on, for example, A.S. Tsukiya or some upcoming banners. Don't forget that Yukino should be arriving soon. There will be the uh, Weapon Zone banner. There will be uh, the vaulted uh, A.S. Rosetta banner as well. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.